In this hydroelectric power plant, the Kaplan turbine stands as a true giant. Among all hydro turbines, Kaplan turbines are the largest. The Kaplan turbine runner is currently stationary, but what happens if water flows over its blades? Will it start to rotate? To understand this, let's look at the blade's cross-section. Each cross-section of the blade is an airfoil. When water flows around an airfoil, it generates a lift force. On a Kaplan turbine, this lift force acts along every cross-section of the blade, spinning the turbine. At the top of the turbine, the generator is connected to the runner, converting this motion into electricity. Kaplan turbines are ideal for low-head, high-flow rate situations. Here's how it works. Water flows from the dam through the pinstock and reaches the turbine runner. But why is the casing of the turbine spiral-shaped instead of circular? Let's explore this through an experiment. A circular casing causes uneven water distribution. Some sections don't receive any flow at all. As water progresses through the circular casing, its velocity decreases, leaving parts of the runner without sufficient flow. In contrast, a spiral casing ensures uniform water distribution. The flow velocity remains consistent because the decreasing flow rate is compensated by a reduction in the casing's area. This design ensures that all blades of the runner receive water at the same rate. For massive Kaplan turbines, manufacturing a perfectly smooth spiral casing isn't feasible, so the design appears segmented. Guide vanes play a critical role here. They straighten the swirling flow, directing water radially to the runner. Additionally, they regulate water flow based on power demand. When demand is low, the guide vanes close partially to reduce water flow. When demand is high, they open fully. The Kaplan turbine's engineering doesn't stop there. Why do the blades rotate? When demand is high, water flow and velocity increase. To maintain a constant generator speed and stable electricity frequency, the blades adjust their angle of attack to optimize performance. Similarly, when demand is low, the blades rotate in the opposite direction to achieve the correct angle of attack. This adjustment is achieved using a clever mechanism. When a piston moves, it rotates all the blades simultaneously. By focusing on just the runner, you'll see that water enters and exits axially, classifying Kaplan turbines as axial flow machines. Kaplan turbine blades are also twisted. This twist ensures the optimal angle of attack along the length of the blade, as blade velocity increases toward the tip. After passing through the runner, water exits via draft tubes. However, there's a risk. Low pressure water after energy extraction can cause cavitation, where vapor bubbles form and collapse, potentially damaging turbine parts. To counteract this, the draft tubes area increases, raising the water pressure. Additionally, turbine manufacturers use specialized materials to protect the blades from cavitation damage. Kaplan turbines are marvels of engineering perfectly suited for efficiently harnessing hydroelectric energy. If you love this journey through the hydroelectric power plant, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to uncover more captivating stories. The next adventure awaits. See you there.